Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days, today's broadcast. Presidential Council of the Republic of Western Armenia Presidential Decree, 100th Anniversary of the Armenian Legion. President Armenak Abrahamian delivered lectures in the Colleges of France. Nikos Ligeris, as the President of the Constitutional Council of Western Armenia, took place the memorial service and the funeral service of Varujan Karapetian, Sebastia, province of Western Armenia. North Northern Cyprus will not participate in the European Championship held in Artsakh. On January 28, President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, taking into consideration the growing demand for citizenship of Western Armenia in Greece and Cyprus, the decision number 16 of March 12 of 2014, the Article 77 of the Constitution has signed a decree of the establishment of the Honorary Consulate of Western Armenia in Athens. According to the decree, it is planned to establish the Honorary Consulate of the Republic of Western Armenia in Athens and Vasiliki Tsatsampa is appointed as the Honorary Consul of the Western Armenia Armenia in Greece and Cyprus. The appointment can be extended for two years. The decree will also be published in the official journal of the Republic of Western Armenia. The state television company of Western Armenia represents materials about the Armenian Legion devoted to the 100th anniversary of the Legion. Famous Turkish journalist Serdar Sorcun spoke about the glorious past of the Armenian Legion. The author notes that the survivor of the genocide against Armenians managed to reach Port Said of Egypt and were recruited to the newly created military legion. The Armenians living in Egypt created a legion with the support of French forces. On February 1st of 1919, the East the Eastern Legion, which was meant to be called Armenian Legion, was one of the most important powers of French. The Legion, with its victory in the Battle of Arara, contributed to the collapse of the Turkish front. Professor Virgin Svazlian, in one of the episodes of her work on genocide against Armenians, mentions about Movses Panosyan, a resident of Musadagh who participated in the war. We were engaged in the French army and laid the foundation for the Armenian Legion. From Karbert, Sivas, Huseik, and from every corner of Cilicia, the warriors came to join us. We went to the front of Nablus, fought and won. One of the well-known Englishmen said, you are richer than our king, for you have such brave fighters. There are also Turkish poems written by Armenian authors on the victories of the Arara battle. The Armenian legion has enjoyed the admiration of French and English generals. The English general Edmund Allenby, who for the recapture of Jerusalem received the name conqueror of the Jerusalem, on October 12, of 1918, in his letter to Boros Nubar Pasha, he wrote, I am proud that my subordinates are Armenian. They were fighting in a glorious way. They had their contribution in the victories. After the military success, the Armenians of Musadagh returned to their homeland and saw the ruins of their settlements, but they repaired and began to plant gardens. But soon Armenians were forced to leave their homes for a second time. France gave Hatay to Turkey and Armenians moved to Anjar. Until 1939, we lived in peace. The French and the English once again forgot the promises they gave to Armenians and gave Musadagh to Turks. After a lot of difficulties, we settled in Anjar. There we built a house and planted gardens. In a few years, we turned Anjar into a paradise, mentions the survivor of the Battle of Arara, Garabet Tozluyan. President Armenak Abrahamian was invited to Antip, city of France, to deliver a lecture for a group of students on the 100th anniversary of the peace conference after the armistice of November 11. Several students commemorated the centenary of the peace conference and the Armenian question following the genocide prepared against Armenians from 1894 to 1923 in Western Armenia. Delighted students listened very attentively to the conference, always asked relevant questions, thus discovering the history of Cilicia and Western Armenia, as well as the recent events of the Middle East. The harmony dominates in the world, and though France is my birthplace, my roots are from Armenia. Today, more than ever, they remind me about it, mentions Nikos Ligarius, who was born on April 13 of 1968. His activities are mainly concentrated in Greek and Cypriot states. The professor was invited to the University of Thrace as the head of the courses of history and philosophy of mathematics in the Department of Pedagogy. The University of Athens as the head of the courses in bioethics 
Epistemology and Cybernetics of Department of Sociology. The Polytechnic School of Xante, as the head of strategic management courses, the National School of Security of Greece, as the head of mathematic courses in the Computer Science Department. He is a professor at the Greek Police Academy, as the head of Balkan Geostrategic Course and Greek Defense Policy. Professor at the National School of Security of Greece, as the head of the course of strategy and theory of the games. He is also a linguist poet, playwright, libertist, lyricist, director, and author of IQ tests. He created the Altruins Foundation, which promotes refugee appeals to the European Court of Human Rights. He also takes part in conferences, interviews, seminars, mainly connected with genocide against Armenians. In 2018, he was appointed as the president of the Constitutional Council of the Republic of Western Armenia. Since January 28 of 2019, he has been reappointed as the President of the Constitutional Council of Five-Year Term by President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian. On January 30, took place the memorial service of Asala soldier Varujan Karapetyan, and on January 31, Varujan Karapetyan was buried in the Yarablur military pantheon. The Prime Minister of the Republic of Western Armenia, Karnik Serkisyan, the President of the National Council, Agvan Tonakanyan, and deputies Karapet Topuzyan, Vachay Hakopyan, and Hamayak Gurchan attended the funeral service to honor the memory of the Asala soldier on behalf of the Republic of Western Armenia. Varujan Karapetyan became the first of 39 Asala fighters who was buried in Yarablur, thus paving the way for the other 39 fighters whose remains must be reburied in Yarablur on the alley of Asala fighters. Hornaval village is located in Tevrik in the Sebastia province. The population of the village was forced to leave during the genocide against Armenians. Most of them died on the way of deportation and those who survived settled in eastern Armenia. In 1915, there were 1,200 Armenians in the village. They were engaged in farming and cattle breeding. Hornaville had a church. The monastery of Hornaville was near the village. There was also an Armenian school. Famous orientalist and philologist Nishan Martirosyan was also born here. Gasma village is also located in Devrik in the Sebastia province. It was located in the high and picturesque place. The population of the village was forced to leave it during the genocide against Armenians. Most of them died on the way of deportation. At the beginning of the 20th century, there were 700 inhabitants of which 500 were Armenian and 200 were Turks. They were engaged in agriculture, cattle breeding and gardening. There was also a church and a school in the village. As we have already announced, the European Championship of Confederation of Independent Football Associations will be held in the Republic of Artsakh in 2019. It is also known that the self-proclaimed Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus will not participate in the championship. According to the source, the reason for this is that the championship will be held in Artsakh. In Krakow took place the draw of Confederation of Independent Football Associations, and the national team of Western Armenia has appeared in the Group D where the team must compete with South Ossetia and Zekali land. This was all for today. Goodbye.